request. I'm going to do the bathroom demo and I'm also going to use the black light to see what's lurking in my husband's bathroom. He uses this bathroom, so let's find out. I'm going to turn off the lights. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. Um, I'll show you what's on his counter and I also have the test swab. So we're going to test the surface first. I'm going to set that aside. So here we go. Mm -hmm. So his, oh, and hopefully I don't have issues with the flashlight. So a little bit of stuff here, not too bad. That is a um, spot there. So not too bad. So let's get to the toilet. Mm, again, oh, not too bad. There's some stuff there. That was from the Clorox wipes that I used the other day in a demo. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's down here. Uh, not too bad. There's like a few spots. It's kind of probably hard to see again with the black light. There's something right there. Um, I will test the area. Now here we go into the lid. Mm, let's see. Oh boy. You never know. Kind of creepy. So uh, there's some spots there. You can see. And then right up on the top there. It's kind of hard, I guess, to see with the black light. So we got some, yeah, what is that? Mm -hmm. So we have some stuff here. We're going to turn the lights back on and then I'll swab the area and let's see what, what it picks up. So I'm going to bring you guys down here. Sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy. So let's see if it picks up any germs. Um, again, I'm using the rapid test strip swab. We'll just swab all around on the, uh, here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy. Mm. Oh, and then get all under here. Let's see what we can find. There's some stuff there. Let's see. <laughs> I want you guys to get this full experience like I am right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here. Again, purple, it detects um, protein or anything on the surface. Green is good, it detects nothing. So we're gonna release that in here. And it was green at first, and look at that. Oh no, it is pretty raunchy in here, oh, as you can see. Oh, I'm disgusted. Okay, so now I'm going to show you with, I have a little sample in viral cloth, and I just cut these up. These are my samples. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, you can use your Enviro cloth. If you are grossed out and you don't want to use your Enviro cloth, you can use the, um, bathroom mitt, which I have here, and I'm going to show you when I do the sink. So this is the bathroom mitt. It's a viral cloth. Not a, well, it's a microfiber on one side, and then it has like a scratchier texturized, so it's good for when you do the shower if you have any buildup of minerals, of the soap scum, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead inside here on the rim, around on the outside, and keep going. Oh, yes. And again, this is removing 99% of what's on the surface with just water. So that's the yummy side. Mm, nice and yummy. Again, I'll just keep going. Make sure I have everything. I do not want to miss a spot. So you can just, again, use this straight up. Just use it wet. Um, if you want to have a nice um, odor, then you can use the bathroom cleaner and dilute it in water and really don't need to shake this up because there's not active, there's not uh, plant-based enzymes in here. Um, so you would just spray and then you still have this wet and then just wipe everything down. So I had some hair. All right, so everything is in here again. Well, what we visibly don't see is in these fibers, it's trapped in, it's held on there. So now I have a new test strip here, and I'm gonna go ahead and swap the area again. Let's get it. 
Yeah, I should, probably should use my environmental cloth. And get down in here. That's all the area. The best part is we're gonna take the um, environmental cloth right here, and we're sure just gonna lay it up on top here. This was the side that I used, and I'll swab that out just in case. I did flip it. Where we'll get this side too. Why not? I'll put it back into my test strip. Remember, green is good. It detects no protein. Uh, purple is bad. It does. And as you can see, it does not detect any bacteria, protein on the surface. It removed um, just with water. Guys, it does work. You can believe and trust in these cloths. It will remove just using uh, water. Um, Again, like I said, is you can take your spray if you want, and then you can just spray a little bit if, if you want that nice, it has a nice little soapy smell. Like if you still need something, but it's not gonna knock you out and kill you at the same time, just dilute the bathroom cleaner. I um, hope you guys can see why I'm doing this, darn it. Um, the other item that I love to use is the ergonomic bathroom brush. Um, these little bristles have the micro silver in them. So it's not allowing any bacteria growth on here. It also has a little lip in here, so it's great to get underneath um, and not slip. So you're not gonna slip out. Um, also, when it's hanging in here, it's not, it's hanging up so it's able to self-dry and self-purify at the same time. It's not sitting in water, um, so it'll never smell. Again, it's never gonna grow bacteria either. So here's the bathroom cleaner. Um, you're probably like, oh my God, this reds are really expensive. Well, again, this is highly concentrated. A little bit goes a long way. I'll literally just do one, like, well, it's kind of too much, but one little squirt and I get in here and I work in the toilet. All around, one, two, three. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And then that's it. My toilet is clean. Put it back into my holder, let it rest, and set it aside, and I'm done. Um, I'm gonna show you, we'll go up here, onto the counter, hopefully you'll be able to see it. <sighs> we'll go back up on top of the counter, and forgive me, you guys may get a little, sorry, I don't mean to, I'm trying to get the area, and again, there's my swaps. So here is the bathroom mitt. Um, again, when it's going to remove 99% bacteria off the surface, it needs to be wet. So I'm just going to move this out. You can start it in cold water. You want to... Uh, Tighten up those fibers on here. Um, when you're done and you're rinsing it out, you want it hot water. Open up those fibers and release anything that's left in there. Um, so literally, you could just take it like this. Again, all my gadgets on my countertop. Use the bathroom mitt and the same thing. I'm gonna try to hold you guys up so you can kind of see. Forgive me again. I don't have a camera guy. <laughs> so I'll just put you on my shoulder here. Um, so here is the mitt. It's pretty awesome. I like it. So I literally will do my whole bathroom like that and then just go back and forth all around. Again, you can hit everything. And if you had some toothpaste, dried up toothpaste in there, you would just turn it over. And if you need to do a scrub real quick, flip it back over. Hit it all. Um, you can do down on here, your handles, all that. Okay, I'm gonna put you back up in here. Now I'm gonna show you, um, then once you're done again, you're gonna go under hot water, hot, warm water, whatever you can tolerate. Rinse it out, and then you would hang it dry so that um, the microsilver goes to work and self-purifies it so it's not um, 
Inhib it's inhibiting the bacterial growth molder, mold and odor in this cloth. Like now I'm gonna grab the, my little sample window cloth. This is a little sample guy. And that's really all you need. You don't need to have the big one um, if you want. Not a big deal, you can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dry up my counter because I don't want any spots. I'm OCD like that, so I need to have a nice smooth surface. So hopefully you guys, were, you guys saw how the counter looked before with like um, stuff on it from the water, from when you're drying off your hands. So that is pretty clear um, inside. I want to dry it out. But I'll go ahead and use the whole thing now. I'll use my other one. Here, again, this is your paper towel. So you're not constantly having to go through a whole roll. That was it. And as you can see, my countertop is clean. It has removed 99% of whatever was on that surface, bacteria. Look how nice and clean. I just love how it's, I, I'm like OCD with that, so I need to have a nice and shiny. I love it. So that's how easy I am done. Again, if I needed to have that scent in here, I would just use my little spray bottle, my diluted uh, bathroom cleaner, Kapow. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and that's it. Um, I probably done that like a couple months ago. It's awesome. And that is it. Unfortunately, my mirror fell down from the last time I did a demo, so I haven't fixed it. And I'm gonna show you now the window real fast. So here I say if a kid got a hold of toothpaste on your mirror here. And yeah, last time I fell off. <laughs> so I kind of really shared it on there. Good there, yeah, oh yeah. That's what happened last time it fell. Um, so normally when we do our, where is my little sample? Um, windows, what are we gonna grab? We're gonna grab, you know, the almighty Windex. This is what we all have used, I've used it. I, I specifically bought this when we moved in here in September to do my outdoor windows because it said <gasps> non-toxic formula, right? It, it does, if you scan this bar and you'll see what's in there. Um, streak free shine. Yeah, it uh, was not streak free. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I normally, first I need to turn it on. What the heck? Here we go. And I'd spray my window. Cause the kid's like, mom, look at my beautiful artwork. Okay, you grab a few, I would this, I mean, literally I'll probably grab this money cause I'm just weird. And now, uh, put my window the mirror down here. And yes, this was from, it fell down. Last time I did this. So you can still see it's still on there, right? I'm going to take this again and spray again. And I'm breathing in all this garbage. You probably should put the fan on right now. And it's still not clear. Now what I can do is take my hand too and I can just start rubbing on my mirror. And you can see the fingerprints on here. I don't know if you can... You can kind of see it up here if you can see in the mirror. Let me see. It's kind of hard. Oh yeah, you can see it all right here. So there's still a few a film on here, guys. And you can see all done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my sample and I'm gonna rinse it out with hot water, press edge tape, rinse. It doesn't matter with the mirror or countertop. You don't have to go with the grain. It's best to go with the grain when you're um, wood. So there is that. And I'm gonna go, this one's kind of wet right now. So I'm gonna take my other, my actual window cloth. Fold it in four. So here's my paper towel. Again, you're in viral cloth, eat for everything. That is your all-purpose cleaner. And this is your paper towel. So now you can see it, it pulled everything off. Again, it's holding on into these fibers. What's in here is not going to transfer back. So you don't have to worry, because I just did the toilet. It's not gonna come back out. It does not transfer from surface to surface. My hand's like dry, 
are kind of wet. So now you can see all that's gone and I'm gonna to touch the, the mirror here and nothing is coming back. And why are there no fingerprints? Because we're not laying down a chemical. We're not laying down a film. It's not gonna happen. It's awesome. So now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna show you real quick. Quick and viral block, the same thing. Uh, look, mom, my beautiful artwork. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get that out of here. Take my swatch again. And again, I'm gonna go up and down. And then when you have your, um, you know, the, this one, again, you have eight sides to play with. Kind of see my soap coming out of there. And then that's that. Again, you can see this on here, but it's in these fibers. I'm going to take my window cloth. Up and down. No waste, guys. You're just going to save so much money. I haven't bought a roll of paper towel since November. This is the only one that I own because I need it for demos. Pretty awesome. And the same thing with the one desk. I'm gonna go back again. You can see my mirror and I'm touching it. Again, nothing. If I take this and I spray and I go back with my paper towels. And then you can see on here. Pretty awesome. 